Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Alright, hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector here with another review. Uh, I got the Deadpool 2 cable figure here. I found him at my Walmart. He's a Walmart exclusive. So let's go over the box here. So, a uh, little marking 14 plus Marvel Legends. It's a red. It's used to seeing like black for the boxing. Deadpool logo with covering up the axe cable and I don't know what that's supposed to say there actually and in the side art you get uh, a little silhouette of the cable with his eye lighting up there same thing cable and not much there on the top you get the X logo with Marvel Legends but Deadpool's logo is covering that up and then here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack, let's crack this thing open, sorry. All right, and here's cable out of the packaging here. So he has uh, quite a bit of accessories here. So let's start off with the fist hands here. So we get these fisted hands, for one for each arm. Um, they're different, so, oops. So you could like the flesh tone there with the middle fingers on this one. So you can tell which one's which. Same deal with the like gun grabbing hand or relaxed hands, whatever you want to call it, for cable. Um, and then I was keeping laying down. Uh, and then he has a pistol here. Uh, I think it's different because the grip here, you get this like little texturing here. Like, yeah, you can see it pretty good there. So I think this may be a different type of pistol that we've never seen before. And then we get this grenade launcher. Attachment for his blaster here. It's pretty cool. And then I think it's supposed to be like a little shotgun attachment for his gun too. And then here's this massive sniper machine gun blaster thing, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I don't remember what it's called. And you get this nice brown coloring here for if I can get this thing to focus. There we go. And then you, so yeah, you get the brown and you get this gray little duct tape looking thing here. You get that nice long magazine, flashlight laser thing right there. And I think if you add like the Black Widow uh, figure with that like blasting effect stuff, you think you pour it into here with this hole. So I think you can. And then if you want to add this in, there's this little spot here pop it in just like like that and then boom and then you switch it out if you want to and then so that's it for the accessories so here's cable right here so i think the face looks just a little off uh, to be honest it doesn't look quite like uh i forgot his name josh Bowen. not that much i think they could have done a little bit better it doesn't quite look like them. They, I mean, the like little textures look pretty good, but like the face itself just doesn't match with them real well. And you get this weird looking line back of his head there. And then besides that, you get this cape here. If you want to take it off, you can. Um, you get this like little vest here on him. He has a bunch of magazines, bulletproof vest. Here's his metal arm. Looks really cool. Looks just like it in the movie. And then his other arm. What looks like in the other arm. And then you get this pistol holster right here. So you just put that and like this. There we go. So you can get him to hold that. You get this daughter's teddy bear here. So you make sure that he's been changing the past uh, changed future. So his family doesn't die and then um 
and you get this other thing on his belt. I think that's supposed to be like a little other holster or something. Yeah, it's another holster, I think. Of some sort. I can't tell. I think that's supposed to be a holster. Oh, I think so. Let's see here. Move that. And can I get in? Yep, there we go. There's that holster. So I think this is supposed to be for this uh, extra blast thing for his gun. So yeah, that just fits in like that. So I think, you could, yeah, you could do that. And then, yeah, really cool accessories. Pants, you get this nice little matted gray here. And then the boots are just brown. It's texturing. I wish they could add a little bit more paint here, but besides that, I think it looks really cool. I just wish they they could do a little bit better on the face. But besides that, let's go over the articulation. Oh yeah, one other thing. They have this. He has this like little grenades or something right here. Nice bronze color. So yeah. All right, let's go over the articulation here. So his his head has that double ball uh dumbbell joint going on here so it's not one of those like disc ball joints it's more it's just double ball so you get him to look up that far you get him to look down that far left and right you get some head pivoting a lot actually just like that and then his arms can move well this one can move out barely any actually you get 360 rotation you got bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, just like that. His wrists, his wrists can hinge down, like side to side, like that far, the other way, that far, 360 rotation. The fisted ones hinge up and down. So you get it go up that far and down that far. Pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, uh, ab crunch is a little bit of a problem with that vest, so you don't really you can't really make him ab crunch or go backwards really they get him to go side just a little bit all that like stuff is getting in the way so yeah um his legs he kick out pretty good pretty far pretty good and then you get him to kick forward very far and then backwards quite a bit he has that upper thigh cut here double jointed knees there we go he has a boot cut and then his ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, and some ankle pivot's a little tough, but yeah, you get some ankle pivot there. So he's a really cool figure. Uh, just my gripes are the face doesn't look a lot like Josh Brolin. I think the Thanos figures did a lot better at that than the Cable figure actually. And then they, they can't really do much about that, the app crunch part though, but I mean, you could probably take it off and make it help, but I'm not gonna take mine off. I think you, actually, let me check and see. I don't think you could take it off. Yeah, you can't take it off, unless you pop off the head, maybe you can, but, or no, you can't really because of the arms, but um, that's my other problem. The shoulders can't move up that far, literally. This is as far it can go mainly because of that padding or not nah, no is yeah this is the padding i wonder if the other one goes up a little bit higher the other one goes up just very a little bit higher but that's really it um and then just some minor paint details that they could have added for like the boots but uh they did have really good accessories they did really good on the arm i just wished oops sorry i wish that had a little more articulation for the ar shoulders in the ab, but I mean, you can't really do much about that, like I said. And in the face, but looks cool. Um, but not much articulation, really. So, uh, yeah, that's all I've got for him. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal. It's supposed to help me out with getting 
me being able to do that and I'll skate more games, uh, to do reactions to. When I get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it and then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.